Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some aha sparkling waters. We have the citrus and green tea, the lime and watermelon, uh, blueberry pomegranate, and orange grapefruit. So now they do have at least one other flavor out there. I've seen the the uh, package for it. I've seen it in a box. I have not seen it sold in a single can yet. We found these at Target. They were up in a refrigerated section at the checkout. They were $1.99 a piece. We've also seen them at Walmart, not refrigerated. Um, Individually and in boxes. In, yes, but they still didn't have that other. Mm -hmm. It's in a darker box. I don't remember what the flavor is, but there's at least one more. And they did not have those those particular ones available uh, for sale in the single. So it's like, you know what? I'll try what I can, and then uh, you can at least hear about these. So they're made by uh, Coca-Cola. Mm. And uh, this is the only one, the citrus and green tea, is the only one that has anything about uh, caffeine on the back. It's says it's about the same amount of caffeine of an eight ounce cup of green tea. So uh, it's zero calories per can. That's good. Naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Yeah, no calories at all. So, so this is like a flavored sparkling water. Sparkling water, oh, yes. Okay. Well, hopefully it doesn't have the bitterness in some of the other sparkling waters we've had. And I'm gonna pour them out just because um, uh, I know people want to see, do they have any color on them? So $1.99 and they are 16 ounce cans. It smells like Sprite. It does smell like Sprite. It tastes like Alka-Seltzer. It tastes a little like rubbing alcohol. Like you, have you ever think, had alcohol? I've never had rubbing alcohol, but it tastes like the smell of rubbing alcohol. It's like that's what you would expect rubbing alcohol to smell if you ever drank it. I've never had an alcohol. That's a thousand percent alcohol seltzer. Oh, okay. So you've you got the know. plop, plop, fizz, fizz in the in the water. I've never had that's, that. That's exactly. Does what that soothe your stomach? Alcohol seltzer. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I've never had that before. Um, it's very bitter. Yeah. Not as bitter as some of the other ones we've had, but it's still pretty bitter. So these are going to be on target with the LaCroix. The LaCroix. Okay. And what's that other one? There's another one too that's yeah. really popular. Yeah. So, you know. Which we, we don't like. We're bad sure. judges of these, but I'm going to try them for you anyway. So at least we can tell you what they taste like. So if you want to taste, what'd you call it? Alka Seltzer. Alka Seltzer, then buy the citrus. With a little bit of that lemon tea. lime kind of flavor. So now this is the lime and watermelon. Zero calorie. Kind of has that salty bitter taste. I think taste they're all going to be clear. But and well, it's sparkling water. Yeah, so I'm not going to have a picture of a cup of water at the end. You all know that it's clear. I tell you what, they smell good. I like the smell. Mm -hmm. the, smell the first one smelled like, like I said, Seven Up or something. This one I could smell it when you opened it. It smells like watermelon, and it it tastes like watermelon, but it has that harshness and bitter. It's very harsh and like. Like I'm used to the clear American waters from Walmart. They uh, they have a lot of sweetness to them. They're very incredibly sweet. They're not sparkling waters though. You know, it's 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 not the same thing. But I'm just telling you that's what I'm used to. So going from that to this, I could get used to this, but it's just so bitter. It's like why would I want yeah, to? Yeah, it's pretty bitter. You do taste the watermelon. Yeah, but it's over. It's overwhelmed by the bitterness. Yeah, it really is. Okay, so the next one. Well, I can't imagine the last one. It's blueberry pom, blueberry pomegranate. Does that have a slight blue tint to it? No, I guess it is clear. Yeah, it's clear. It it um, looks that way when you're pouring it. Yeah. In it. I'm looking at, at it through this blue this uh, table too. It smells like a very. It has a very very strong blueberry smell, almost like a. Like a blueberry candy almost. And so did the watermelon. Um, I taste the blueberry. I do too, but again. Once again. Killed by the bitterness. It's just, yes. It's it's very, very, very bitter. So, lastly, the one we're both so excited about. Orange and grapefruit. If it was just orange. Like now, grapefruit's not already bitter. I know. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. We're, we're adding. It's sour. Yeah, we're adding more bitterness to it. It smells like a 
cross between orange and grapefruit. That's like eating the rind. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. It's like the peel even. The peel. It really it's like if you took the orange, the actual orange peel Threw it in the garbage. I mean take the orange throw it in the garbage. And yeah, you took the middle, throw it away, you're eating the peel. That's what that's like. Yeah. That's how bitter that is. I think if you like LaCroix already, you're gonna love you'll probably like these because the flavors are, are there. They really are. They're they're exactly what they say they yeah. are. So they did a good job with that. Yeah. But if you already had LaCroix, these aren't going to help. Yeah, you. these aren't going to improve gonna like your opinion. <laughs> yeah, and you may as well pass them. Yeah. So when you see these cans, uh, aha, just know that it, it's it's just another LaCroix. Yeah. Really, that's what. And there it was is. another brand that slipped my mind what what that sparkly water is. It's, I'm sure like people it. will call. Yeah, it. we didn't like it either. So right, so it's just we're just not fans of the sparkling water. No, it's just too bad. Um, but uh, you know, you all like we said, you'll like it if you like those already. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.